hello everybody welcome to today's video i hope that this video is not very long but bear with me because i am going to do a full overview of my system over the past month i would say a lot of things haven't really changed but i just wanted to kind of go over it because i know it is already the middle of the year we are already in the second quarter i believe it is right of the year if i'm not mistaken <laughs> um or the end of the second quarter six is uh the sec the middle of the second quarter okay i'm not completely wrong um so without further ado uh, I guess I will start with what has changed. So initially I was using my Hobonichi Weeks as a journal, but that quickly changed after I realized it was just too much space, it was just too overwhelming, and it ended up turning into more of a junk journal per se. So when I would get some happy mail, I would just tape it down and literally every page is empty. Um, it literally is just a junk journal. So that's what it ended up being and that's what it's gonna be so far because I really do like having that ephemera somewhere, but I really don't write about it. I just stick some things down, tuck things in. I don't print pictures or anything. So that's literally what it is. I don't, um, yeah, I don't really like um, have any other uh, way or functionality for it, another purpose for it, and it works, and I paid for it, so I might as well use it in some way. And so that's what it's gonna be but it's nothing exciting it's literally just ephemera so that was that then since i obviously ended up changing my journal i have my hobonichi weeks which is still working very well and i do believe i have a flip of this in a previous vlog but i will quickly go through it so I guess this will be a long video, so bear with me here. <laughs> I just have a picture of my kids, and then this journal card in the back is from Paper Planner Bliss. And then I just have a, a Belongs To card here, as well as these heart stickers. Don't remember where they came from, probably jet pens, and I use those in the monthly. Then I have Hope. Please bear with my child. He gets very exasperated over his game. Um, so I use the hearts on the monthlies here. In the yearly overview, and this is my steps tracker. Since I got my Apple Watch, I do track every day. And the yellows are the days that I closed all of my rings, which hasn't been going that great in April but or June for that fact <laughs> but this week is gonna change I hope so yeah I just don't like really hold myself account accountable my job is very sedentary I think it's what it's called so I don't get up a lot or walk a lot but I am trying to change that with the evening and now that the weather is getting better I am definitely going to be going on more walks more often so hopefully that'll help. However, this is the Spring Start Hobonichi Weeks. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, it does say it here. I haven't decoed the page since my last one was so beautifully decoed. Um, and I just like messed up the dates. That's why I bought the Spring Start. Uh, and I just got overwhelmed with it. And I haven't got the inspiration to decorate it. I might at some point. And since I started it in March, it always throws me off. Like, I don't understand why they start in February here, the week, well, March, but everything else starts in April. So I just put right here 2024 March, and then it does have the March monthly. I don't know why they do that. So this is what my monthlies look like for my memory keeper. That's what this is. And I just have my moods on the left, 
which I got the inspiration from my minimal planner. And then I just have the monthly stickers here from Paper Planner Bliss, and then just a few key points of the month, highlights, I guess, highlighted events, and then birthdays. I have my paydays marked with a little dot, the workout days, depending on what it is, which I haven't really kept up with it. This is April and May, and I forgot to put I went on a walk on some day I don't remember I think it was Friday the 31st so I have to update that because I do want to keep tracking when I go on walks and stuff and then this is for June I am using the Midori brass clip on the monthly and then I did add in the little um uh, what is it holiday stickers throughout the whole monthlies and then we get into the weeklies and my layout stays the same it works well I just have a line here that separates a left side which is like the main events or appointments and then I have a little quick log rapid log of points in the day so it could be anything that I want to include in my memories and then I have on the right side my habit tracker for my son his chores because I do give him an allowance depending on what he does and then I have my socials tracker here my dinners uh, which is the meal my meal planning here just to keep track of what I make what my kids like what and it helps me to know what meals I have to make and it just works here rather than in my planner and I don't mind like keeping it here so um, then I was trying to add the days that I did no spends but I'm not very great at not spending <laughs> so yeah um, yeah the weeks just look the same I always use the papery planning um, weekly tracker headers I don't know what they're called but they're just her day of the week days I don't know what they're called so it's not very decorated I will just add washi or you know stickers randomly here and there essentially I decorate before I write but sometimes I will just write because I'm so backed up and then I'll decorate later and so that's what they look like nothing crazy but I just like to write down an overview of what we did if I finished a book and it's working really well I do try and switch up my fountain pens mm, depending on how I feel like here I did pink and I honestly didn't really like it to be honest so I just went back to black and I'm just having fun with it I just really do like writing down what we do in the day and as you see this is where I calculated my son's allowance and then this was last week and I haven't done for today which is Monday so that's what this week looks like at the back I do have my in the notes I don't have anything I was trying to journal didn't work out so the notes pages are essentially black but blank but I do have the books that I read as of the start of this planner so that's how many I've read so far which isn't really a lot but I've been kind of busy to be honest with my running and everything so I'm just logging it in two places here and in my planner so that is my Hobonichi Weeks, and I really do enjoy it uh, at the back. I just have the stickers that I use occasionally. This is the leftover um, holidays that I love from Paper Planner Bliss, Papery Planning, and Papery Planning. Oh, that's what they're called. So they're Monday through Sunday Hobonichi Weeks. And then, of course, my handy dandy reusable sticker book that I made with my functional stickers that I like to use and then I have a stencil here 
from Hobonichi Weeks, which I don't really use, but it's here just in case I ever want to. And then my journal has now been moved to my Passport TN. This is the olive color with the Bomb Kuhan, uh, which Ikichi, Ichi or something uh, embossed here or debossed, I guess it's called. And then I have the little paper airplane charms on the bookmark and some little uh, charm from Traveler's Company. In here I have my Fuki fountain pen and this is inked with wearing goal oh, which one is it mad hatter i love that green ink it is so pretty and so that is my journal pen i might change the ink when it runs out into something else but i love it i, I was thinking of changing it every month but it i don't journal every day and i won't be changing it every month so i guess i'll just change it when it runs out i love this pen though it's so beautiful then I just have in my passport the clear insert with some journal cards, some uh, journal prompts, I guess you can call them. I don't remember that one's from, but this one's from my minimal planner. It's one of her like cards. And then I just decorated, this is actually an old decoration, this folder from when I was essentially doing my daily in my pocket if you've seen my previous videos the stickers from my minimal planner as you can tell i love jenny's stuff and then this is the inside for now this was essentially outside out anyways um this is my decoration i am using the sweet freckle design uh paper insert for my journal and i just added stickers to it I will show you a few pages because this is my personal journal, so I won't be sharing those pages, but essentially this is my key, so I have journals, special interests, consume media, planning ideas, social media ideas, and let me see if I could find a page to share. Yeah, there's not really <laughs> there's not really a page that I can share to be honest because it is more of my personal journal I can share this one here and this is what I wanted it to be so I have like my common placing per se just things that I like want to keep track of for the future and then I have my journals with journal entries which essentially so far have been a full sheet, like a full page. And then I'll have some random quotes and other things that I add in here. So yeah, that is what it's been. For example, this one has some ephemera of that day along with decoration. And this one I have stickers. So that's what it is and it's working very well I don't always add stickers but I have them here at the back just in case I do have the dot stickers linked in my Amazon and in my I'll link them below in my like to know it as well and then I have this adhesive tape from travelers company um what else what else on the back of the folder is just a card that my son wrote to me a few years ago i have a picture of my kids and then i have some little washi strips in case i want to add washi they are here and then i did use the traveler's company tape uh adhesive pocket i mean at the back and i just have a, a planner card uh just in case it gets lost Oh, the page marker that I'm using is from Pencil Board, I guess, is from the Traveler's Company 2024 Traveler's Town. It's so cute. And I just stuck a, um, what is it, a pen holder, I guess, adhesive pen holder. 
and so that is my journal and then I do use the traveler's company clip because of course you know they don't always lay flat and so that just helps with keeping down the page with a little bit of weight are you okay what? Jojo are you okay all right, so now we are getting to my rings planner, my everyday carry. I do still have it in my vintage denim. And I did also receive my undyed, which I have in this still because I am waiting on my apple guard. But I will share it. It doesn't have as much texture as I hoped, but I like it nonetheless. The back has more texture than the front, but it is what it is. I didn't do any customizations on the outside. I did, however, widen the pen loop because I possibly was going to use this pen and I wanted it to fit perfectly in there. I didn't want to struggle pushing it in or anything. This one is the Pilot Vanishing Point and it's like a mustard color. I think the nib is sterling silver instead of gold and that's why it's cheaper, I believe. So that is linked also in my Amazon if you're interested in it. But the only customization I did on the inside wall other than that I did two which was add this bottom pocket on the left side because sometimes I like to add deco and I just didn't want it um, flat usually they come without this pocket and on the right side I added the secretarial because I do carry loose stickers and so I wanted somewhere to put those in and sometimes I'll get papers from you know the doctor or bills or something uh, receipts occasionally and so I wanted somewhere to put that so this is the 20 millimeter pocket rings in Janet leather undyed and yeah I will be moving into this and I'm not gonna baby it so you guys will see how it patinas and changes I do share you know I will share more of that on my Instagram if you're not following me it's at written treasuries but yeah, I wanted to share that because it's so pretty and it is essentially a pretty similar sizing to my Filofax because I love this size. I don't like the new size, it's just too tight, but I love the size of this vintage denim and I think that's why I am in it so much. Um, I haven't compared it. Actually, let's do a quick comparison of it. Oops my flyleaf fill to the this is the Gilio Campagna XL oops pocket XL and so height wise this is still shorter I don't think you can tell but it's a little bit shorter than the um, Gilio width wise it's definitely smaller the Gilio is the biggest you can see it there it is wider and so I think this size is gonna work really well for me but if you have any questions you can always DM me or comment below and I will be more than happy to assist you so for the pocket rings I'm not gonna do a full flip I'm just going to share with you guys some updates to my planner and hopefully I can remember everything so bear with me here okay I'm so sorry that this is like a long video I really was not expecting it to be this long <laughs> so the first change that I did was I changed my inbox and I used this insert from Peanuts Planner Co. Don't know the number of it, but if you need it, I can get it for you guys. And I just like the look of it way more. It's a little bit less cluttered and sometimes I have long sentences. And so I found in the other one, it was just too long at times and it got me confused because I would have to use two lines and I thought I would have to mark off two lines and I just didn't like it. So. I just switched to this one and it's working well just because I don't 
write a lot in my inbox. It's more so something that I want to remember in the future and just eventually get done. So I don't have a lot of inbox. I mostly just use my dailies and my weekly inbox. So this is more so something for the future. Like for example, I'm going on a trip at the end of this month. And so I put here, make vacation outfits and then ask uh, my mother-in-law to borrow the suitcase. So that's something that's gonna be in a few weeks. So it's more so something that eventually I wanna finish, like back plan my yearly. I haven't even done that <laughs> for 2023. Um, I did do most of it, but I'm missing like the first three or four months. So that's what I changed there Another update that I did was Let me see here. Oh My trackers I added in this freebie from Ivy Mill and I really am enjoying it I just have my habits more of like my um, uh, What is this? Uh hobbies like my journal mood archive reads so i just want to remember and remind myself to update my journal update my my hobonichi weeks essentially is my mood and my archive and then i just track the days that i read and then i have my little ones tracker for his teeth and his hygiene so that is my mood tracker that i added in here another update in my trackers is this fold out from paper test designs this is a freebie in her facebook group and i ended up making it my workout tracker and i made a little key here with some squiggles and dashes and different uh, shaped lines as well as some little acronym codes so that i know what it is and mark out when i do it then I added this reoccurring tasks from Wise Coffee Break, and it's just a yearly tracker. If you have any other yearly tracker things, let me know. I don't have a lot, but that's just kind of what I came up with, as well as asking what, from help from your from you guys on Instagram. And then the biggest change that I did is I changed my monthlies. I told myself that I wasn't going to print monthlies or buy monthlies because I had the freebies and I didn't want to spend a lot when I first made my planner, which was back in November, I believe. And I just stayed with using the freebies from Peanuts Planner Co., but Wise Coffee Break, I forgot her name, but um, she made her shop and she was having a sale. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. And I am really enjoying it. I waited to print them because I was waiting for my new pens to come in, which I think I shared previously, possibly. But I use this... Um, Mark's Ink 04 Slim Pouch. I really like it. It's lightweight and I can see what I have in here, which isn't, I mean, it seems like a lot, but it really isn't a lot. Um, but these were the pens that I was waiting on and they are from Uniball One. They're just fun colors. I bought like three different packs, but these are the ones that kind of stuck out to me the most and so those are what i'm using for my monthlies and i did back date my monthlies because i changed them in april so i had to rewrite all of the events and everything and cross out all the days because yes i do cross out my days but it looks so clean and cute with all the colors and it all comes together so that is one thing big thing that i did change recently in my rings so if you see my last flip it's different um but i like her grids i believe it's 4.0 4 point no 4 millimeter 0.4 millimeters yeah i believe that's correct i don't know four millimeters i don't know uh i've only been in the community forever right <laughs> i'm just kidding um, so yeah, so I use these little square dots that I actually got from Yari. I don't know if she still makes them. She was so sweet to send them to me. 
and this is the shape that I use. They fit perfectly in the box, which essentially I guess is the same size as the Hobonichi Weeks, maybe? But I love 4mm grid. It is the best. So this is her design, and I do cross out every day. I cross out after I do my journals, my memory keepers, and my trackers. I will cross out that the day has passed for the previous day because I journal, well, I update my planner in the morning for the previous day, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, this is what it is looking like so far, and I am loving it. Last month wasn't very eventful. Sometimes I'll add in when we do stuff. Sometimes I forget, but I try to update it every time and so this is for this month and I, this is my little page marker I haven't changed that but other than that I don't think um, my weeklies haven't changed uh, my dailies haven't changed but I did print this little sticky note out it is from Peanuts Planner Co a freebie and I ended up trying to attempt an ab challenge, which today is the 10th, but we still have to go on a walk. It is 6 o'clock, so I'm going to hurry and finish this. And then after my walk, I'm going to do my ab challenge, which is, I think, like 20 minutes. It's a video on YouTube from Gains by Brains, I think is her YouTube, but her ab workouts are burning. Like, they are insane. So... That is what I'm gonna attempt, and hopefully by the time my vacation comes, I will be a little bit toned. So that is what I added here, as well as, I don't think you guys have seen my task reminders, I'm not sure, but I did make this on Canva and I printed it on vent vellum, and it is just my kind of routines, I guess, for daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. And then, any other change? I don't think so. Maybe you guys haven't seen, I made this little list from Thrift Store. I actually got this idea to do this from Sleepy Notes Club. If you guys don't follow her, her aesthetic and her planning is incredible. And she goes very into detail in her videos. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. If you have any other questions, let me know. I don't think I have any other change in my planner. So if there's something that you want to see in particular, let me know. But for the most part, everything in my previous um, flip is still accurate. And I believe that's it. Oh, one last thing I did want to share is... My Vanderspeck, I ordered a bunch of samples and I wanted to share them. So this is the new June exclusive leather because they are doing this new thing where every month they have a specific leather that you can only order during that month. So since I ordered in May, they gave me the June. So this is the Janet Leather Menta, Mente, Menta, which is Spanish for mint. Um, or maybe it's not only in Spanish. I don't know, but Spanish, that's how you say it too. Um, but it's super pretty. It actually feels very durable. So that is that one. And then I got the new book, Tere, Tere, and this is super soft and plush very very not structured but i heard that this is a little bit less sensitive than the janet leather and i actually put a little bit of water on the corner and you cannot even tell i don't know if you can see it there and there it's a little bit darker uh, i kind of wish i would order this instead of undyed but i'll just have to wait until they release it it is more like a gray instead of a brown i thought it was a brown but it's actually more of a gray if that makes sense because this is janet Le i mean this is a traveler's company brown and it does look close to it but it is more cool tone 
so then I got the what is this one Ecumen new book Ecumen really pretty even these two together look really nice but the texture on them are very different this is more wrinkled and this is very pebbly this one is new book Thaya Thoya I think that's how you say it a dark green this is Janet Leather Brown. I keep trying to like convince myself to get Janet Leather Brown, but I just can't love the color. I don't know. I don't love it. So a lot of people love it, not me in general. And then this is the Janet Leather Dark Brown, which is very red. This is more of a warmer tone. And then this is the Velvet Undyed which i actually wet as well uh if you see right here in this corner it's not i don't know if you can see it yeah that i wet that corner right there so it does leave a little bit of a print but it's not dark compared to the velvet sand which you can definitely tell that it is stained that was water because i wanted to test it so that's that um Okay, I think I am done now. Please ignore, ignore how dirty my mat is. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, again, leave a comment below. I always love chatting. And I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!